Welcome to the Dean Blackman Show, live from Long Island. Free-flowing talk with a charismatic, down-to-earth host. Join Dean as he interviews and chats freely with his guests, ranging from superstar athletes to politicians, industry titans, and everyday folk with fascinating life stories. Dean educates, entertains, and most of all, touches people's lives. You're listening to The Dean Blackman Show, live from Long Island. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Dean Blackman Show. August the 15th, Tuesday, a little rainy out here on Long Island, but uh, just uh, the summer just keeps going fast. And we're now going to go fast over to uh, over the Atlantic Ocean and cross the globe to Europe to the UK, and to my friend, Ria Bo. Ria, how are you today? I'm very good. Thank you very much. Hi, lovely. It's been a while since we've seen each other or you've seen us kind of thing. This is Dean and I just going to have a catch up. We've got the studio kind of running. Well, it is running, actually. Fingers crossed through all the technical stuff that we've had going on. But we're kind of ready to go with the new shows, launch the studio back into action, which might slow down the amount of Dean on the streets that Dean does. (laughs) I mean, you never know, right? So that's kind of what today is. So we're just having a catch up, chewing the fat on what's going on. I wrote a random list as I was making a coffee, um, just in case we run out of stuff to to say kind of thing. But hey, good to see you all right. And hands up if you think it's a mad world. I think it's a mad world. Uh, back to you, Dean. It's a crazy world, Rhea, it really is. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, ever since, uh, I think, April, uh, when we decided, you know, when the, fir- when the Dean Blackman show was initially launched, it was just uh, launched with uh, podcasts in uh, audio, and there were about 70 of them. And uh, ever since uh, we decided to make this conversion, obviously, it, uh, to build a sophisticated studio like we did here in my home, it took uh, just a little bit more time than anticipated. But because of you, uh, you had said uh, to me a long time ago that, Dean, when you're out of studio, you've got to do something to keep you busy. So that's when uh, you gave me the brilliant <laughs> idea of Dean on the street. And I've had uh, the last couple of months the experience and the fun and the inspiration and the ed- education and all the new people that I've had an opportunity to meet from all over, from Aruba to Napa to uh, St. Martin to New York City, uh, all over the place, Long Island. It's just been uh, really uh, inspirational, uh, fun, met some new people, and uh, look forward to doing it more often with uh, In Studio, The Dean Blackman Show, and Out of Studio, Dean on the Street. And then obviously, uh, I'm anxious for you to talk about uh, a new upcoming pilot that we're going to be doing called The Doghouse. Yeah, the Doghouse is a formatted show. I think you've seen one. It was a kind of pilot in action to see if we can pull off the format. So um, the format I'd already written for the show, but it does take a certain type of person to do it, you know. You've got to be a bit sarky. You've got to be okay with maybe not being liked as well. And most of us like being liked so it's not that kind of show you know so when we get a reader's letters in it's not supposed to be a traditional agony aunt kind of affair it's supposed to be a bit sarcastic and the kind of advice that people get when they write in is not your standard advice kind of thing it's uh, a sarky bitchy gossipy not just that but um a, a more of a fun kind of thing because as I don't know if the people listening know this or not. YouTube has been censored right down along with Google. So if you say anything even remotely contra- uh, controversial, they're just going to shut you down anyway. So and because of the political landscape, particularly your ends, there's so much to take the mickey out of, isn't there? I mean, it's just one after another. For instance, here, right, in England, um, on one of the stations here, they've got this Trump voiceover, right, that does the weather Oh, my God, it is superb, I tell you. Every time it comes on, Trump doing the weather, awesome, absolutely awesome. So there's so much to take the mickey out of. So without going too much on, we're looking for some people for the doghouse, right? Someone that wants to join us. In studio is brilliant, but we can also bring you in on Skype on the other monitors. So you can be coming from anywhere and you'll be able to see all of us. We've set it up in such a way where we're sort of 
all in the studio together as it were so that is something else that we want to talk about if you want to come on just let us know and i'll you know the only thing two things you need you need one story and you need one thing or person or whatever you like for the doghouse and we vote in whether it goes in the doghouse or not. So that's the kind of doghouse thing, Dean. What do you think? I think it's a great idea, Ria, and that's what's made the uh, this platform and building this studio and uh, whether it be the Dean on the Street or uh, the doghouse uh, show, uh, everything that it, uh, it's really, we've created a uh, opportunity for people throughout the world, everywhere to, uh, it's been set up that uh, we look for uh, audience participation, whether it being a featured guest on the show or whether it being the doghouse or, um, or even being on Dean on the Street. I mean, basically a platform's been built to really uh, get people's stories, experiences, and expose people to the world. And it's very exciting. Totally. I mean, the studio is ready to go. We can bring you in from wherever and the experience should be pretty comfortable. We've run off the sound checks. And so technically, touch wood, fingers crossed, we're kind of ready to go. Um, I think Dean's really good at doing the kind of, let's call it the regular stuff, if you like. And I'm <laughs> and I'm more interested in the weird and wonderful, okay? Weird and one, kind of weird and wonderful, but, but people that are just out there, they're not running with a pack. And if you're one of those people, I would love to speak with you because um, I find all that stuff super fascinating. Um, so that's something that I'm into as well. But we're now in a position where we can run off videos as and when and have a catch up. And it's been an actual, actual scream. So in a minute, Dean, I'm going to read you off some of my scribble list here of some of the things that fell out of my head before I come on air. Back to you, Dean. There's no question about it, Ria, that you, I've known you now for a year. You are definitely weird. You, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> but when we had the opportunity to meet, I loved your European, your British accent. And I said, uh, wow, what a great sidekick for me to have on my show. Uh, an attractive young lady with uh, with a great accent. Uh, and that is very weird because you are, there's no question about it. You are weird. And uh, what makes this exciting is our two different cultures and different worlds. Uh, that we are but then again you think i'm weird too oh yeah without doubt i mean every time i see a dean on the street video i'm thinking does he speak to anybody these days without a camera is it have we got to book it in kind of thing so i need to hear from your family dean does he talk to you anymore or is it just in front of a camera <laughs> they all say i talk too much a matter of fact uh, getting ready for this uh, today uh camera positioning and everything i mean uh, whether it's uh uh, suck in my belly or I need Botox, uh, whatever it may be. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, no more audio. It's, uh, we're on, uh, we're on video now. So, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a different, it's a different, uh, story now, but, uh, You'd love to get a professional fluffer. Yeah. So what's happening over there? <laughs> what's happening before you get into some, some questions, Ria, what's happening over there in Europe? Uh, here in Europe, oh my God, it's a madhouse, isn't it? Um, Europe, what's going on in Europe? Well, we're slowly going down the toilet, or what you call, yeah, I think you call it a toilet, um, while people go, yay! So we've got people embracing, actually, one of the things I'd written down here, if I can find it, is multicultural utopia. That is Europe supposed to be. And... Europe's just going down the toilet at a million miles an hour in flames while people cheer on while it goes down the toilet sort of thing. Um, the mass immigration thing is the same old watered down Brexit politically. Um, our, our politics aren't as good as yours. They're much more surreptitious, uh, where yours are, are much more sort of just on the table nut stuff to, to really sort of get your teeth into as it were um that puppet show you call an election but europe as a whole europe is kind of down the tubes really so i'll give it i don't know a couple more years and then it's it's going to be have become so toxic the divide that there's like yourselves like you've recently had that is people coming together on the street and they're so cross and they're so angry and have such a different narrative that um, it's all just going off and going 
terribly wrong, really, which I think it is your end as well, Dean. So you categorize uh, our election here in the States as a puppet show, Ria? Yeah, totally. Totally. You know, the whole, everyone's a politician now as well, aren't they? Everybody. Everybody's a politician. You know what I mean? uh, it wasn't always like that, was it? You know, where everybody's got an opinion on on what they think should or shouldn't be. So it's like so incredibly toxic. If you're lucky and you sort of bump into someone with a similar view, I guess you can give somebody a good dissing and it's all good. But if you, there's, there's a high probability that you're going to meet someone that's not on the same wavelength. Well, listen, I'm going to pull you off politics right now. I know that's a favorite of yours and you want to keep going, but I'm going to pull you off really? because I, I've got to ask you, Rhea, have you ever experienced uh, have you ever experienced a solar eclipse? Yes, yeah, quite have. a few. Well, quite a few. A few, I think. Two, I think two. Definitely one, maybe two full eclipses. Yeah. Well, listen, the United States has not seen a total solar eclipse in nearly a century, and that here next Monday, August twenty first we'll be able to see this solar eclipse. I mean, uh, that has to be one of the most unbelievable astronomical events that you could witness. And uh, I think with everything that is going on in the world, and especially here in the States, uh, it's something uh, for everybody to look forward to. Yeah, I think so. If you've never seen one, you know, there'll be some youngsters that have never seen one and stuff. And, um, yeah, it's kind of good. You obviously got to you got to know how to look at it. There's there's a certain way to do it. Um, so I think one of the simple ways is obviously you can't look just look at the sun unless you want to be blind forever. Um, so you hold up a piece of paper like you know a piece of A4 or whatever in front of the sun, and then as it goes into the eclipse and hits the full eclipse, you can sort of pull the paper away to get a look at it. Yeah, well, the moon. But that's only for a few seconds. The moon aligns perfectly with the sun uh, to create that darkness. It's going to be exciting here. It is. There's tons of conspiracy theories on the net about it, about what's going to happen on that day, and they are far and varying. I can tell you, I've heard quite a few things um, of what people think are going to that it's going to be used as a sort of diversion to do X, Y, and Z somewhere else, sort of thing. So. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be fascinating. Just hopefully people don't just look up at the sun and end up blind sort of thing. Well, listen, have you spoken to, have you spoken to Carol Ruth Weber lately? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I spoke to Carol. We had a good catch up about a week ago. Probably our best catch up actually on Skype, just checking out what's going on. She wanted some advice on getting into cryptocurrencies and onto the blockchain social media platform called steamit.com uh, which, which is where you get paid to post um quite why it hasn't just run over facebook i have no idea but it hasn't yet but then a lot of people haven't heard of it so yeah we had a good catch up um she's ready to go uh, so we've got our number three we need that moving number four person for the dog house where we have one person in one week another and another and all that kind of thing and we have that alternating so yeah carol's on good form Listen, we, you know, you, I want to really emphasize that, that we're looking for audience. Uh, we're looking for people to get involved with the shows that, uh, especially the doghouse, it's going to be a weekly show. And as Rhea said, uh, Rhea is going to be on weekly, uh, Carol Ruth Weber, uh, myself, and, uh, we're looking for another male counterpart to come along with me and to, uh, rotate, uh, even with, uh, others. So, don't be don't be afraid come on uh you know come out and reach me uh you can you can write me at dean at deanbleckman.com um but we'd love to have you involved with the show so uh it'd be great we are going back to steam it uh you know i'm sure a lot of people never heard of steam it you could educate me a little bit uh what is this steam it so it's kind of the closest you'll get is like a, just a social media platform um but normal social media, well, we'll take Facebook because everybody knows Facebook, right? But the rest of the same, Instagram, you know, they have these different little niche things. But it's a social media thing. And with Facebook, you've got, let's say, yourself. 
then you've got a central server and then you've got the other people. Well, between you and the other person or people, there's a central server involved, i.e. Facebook central servers, which incidentally, I think there's one in the US that's about the size of three uh, football pitches. Um, and that's that's holding all the information, right? So with with blockchain and Steemit, there's no central server. So it's peer to peer, as they say. Wow. So oink out the central server and then you go on to this blockchain technology, which is part of Internet 3.0. Uh, we're, we're leaving behind central servers, Internet 2 and 2.5, and we're moving into Internet 3.0 where there are no longer central servers. For example, when we do this, we upload this to YouTube, that goes to their central servers, and then we are up, upload it to Facebook and that goes to their central servers. If we sent this direct to Steam it, there's no central servers. Which So the question is, how does it work? It's stored on everybody's computer. So there's bits of it everywhere, what they call BitTorrent and blockchain. So, But the key thing is, is when you do your post, on Facebook you have a thumbs up, but on Steam it, you have an upvote or a downvote. If you upvote, someone gets paid with Steam dollars, which is a cryptocurrency. One Steam dollar at the minute has a value, I think, of about $1.60. When you open an account, you get, I think you get about 15 US dollars it, um, to, for free sort of thing. You get that when you open the account. It was designed by a guy named Dan Larimer, uh, who also designed another blockchain called BitShares. And so you sign up, um, sort of navigate it to get used to it because it's a bit different. Uh, put some content together. For example, say we was doing this. Then you send it to YouTube, send it to um, Facebook. I'm I've, I've not posting personally to YouTube anymore. I post to another blockchain BitTorrent outfit called BitChute. So I post out to BitChute and then that goes to Steam it. And then if people like it, they press the upvote and in turn you get paid the more engagement that you get with the post. So any questions about that? Wow, that's fascinating, Ria. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's been going, I think I've been a member since about August, September last year. It goes through several forks. Steam, it's a cryptocurrency as well as, and the value of that cryptocurrency is the social media and the content that's on it. And people are screaming to get on it because they get paid to post. Wow, wow. Listen, I know that you're not a big uh, sports fan, and especially, I don't, I don't even know if you know what football is. We've discussed it before. Do you know what football is, Ria? That's that funny shaped ball thing, isn't it? Right. right. Well, I, I said this morning on Instagram that when it gets to the, be this time of year for me, it gets very exciting because the weather starts to turn. Unfortunately, the summer is coming to an end. But, uh, but when it gets to this time of year, it gets a little cooler. That means football's right around the corner, and uh, one of my favorite uh, sports teams that uh, I love is the Michigan Wolverines uh, college football team, Go Blue, and uh, we're ready for an exciting year. Coach Harborough has uh, a great young team that uh, we go the whole season, and then uh, there comes this big day in the month of November around uh, Thanksgiving weekend that we the biggest game of the year is always traditionally against the Ohio State Buckeyes and I'm hoping uh, this year that it happens to be Michigan's year to beat the Buckeyes so uh, always uh, always a great time of the year with the fall coming up and college football so um, once in a while we're going to talk about that Rhea well I don't mind darling you uh, I would need educating I mean I kind of I kind of the bit that I get is the community around the team thing. So I get that it's kind of primal. People can get together with a common vision and they love it. So I love it. That's fine. The fact that I don't know anything about it and I'm sort of not that. In so someone would have to be really tolerant and, and educate me on on the thing. Um, so I would need to learn about that. However, I do have one sport thing and that is I follow MotoGP. So, and you know nothing about MotoGP, right? Nothing at all. What is it? MotoGP is the motorbike racing. Wow. So you get three classes. MotoGP, which are the big boys, they're like bullets. 
then you get motor two and then you get motor three which are like the youngsters which are just fabulous i've been in and around it for decades and uh, i still follow it and i i do have because i do like a little flutter a bet and so far uh with a friend on on the race predictions the top three i'm seven one up so woo, if you're watching this he's taken some losses you know and he's not happy about it so uh seven one up and at some point it's not going to be able to catch up wow i've got to get a video of you riding no 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 no. i don't ride it i just watch it and have be... been around it yeah but i'd love to see you ride okay yeah that's that might have to be x-rated <laughs> What else do you have today, Ria? Okay, I wrote some stuff down. Right, I come on, had a coffee. We've we've got the message over. Um, whether someone's going to come up, but if someone can come on on Skype, that's not a big effort, is it? Do you know what I mean? No. So those people that um, have an opinion, God, it doesn't have to be the same. If you're weird and wonderful, count me in. If you're kind of middle of the road, Dean will see you because <laughs> <laughs> I'll get bored and then I'll get cantankerous and be awkward so that's no good is it right so uh but i wrote some stuff down just so you know if you want to come on what's going through this mind of mine and and i'm fascinated by this fabulous thing called the internet so these are some of the things that fell out of my head as i was making a coffee before i come on the show and here's a bit of a list right we've got cryptocurrency if anybody wants to know or they know and they can bring that's great We've got the overall censorship thing, which has gone up a gear just this week, including my site, wickedvid.com, no C in wicked. All the advertising, we've been removed. We got an email from Google saying, you're not the right fit. So we got banned, which is, I don't mind that, that's okay. Um, the sound of the war drums is another topic. It is a good one. UFOs, always a good one, right? Uh, yeah, because there's people on board with that, right? Um, you, you've obviously got the politics, which is all a bit toxic, but if there's some some stuff going on, um, then I'm interested around the Fed and the central banking, which, boo, get rid of them. Antarctica, great subject, hot as you want right now and has been for quite a few months. I've got a cryptic one called Blame the Machines. Where we've played the blame game, <clears throat> excuse me, politically, where America goes Russia, Russia goes it's America, China goes it's, you know, Iran and all this. We're moving into an age of we, we, they're going to blame the machines. So that's a bit nuts. Um, another topic of two types of human being, modified and unmodified. That's quite interesting. Um, the topic of multicultural utopia that we're supposed to be living in that's apparently going really well, so I've been told. I haven't seen it anywhere, but so I'm told. Um, the next one is the magician, which is also cryptic, which is the geopolitical magicians. Um, and then that's about it, really. And all of these things that I've just said to you, we can no longer write in the title for the video because it will just get it won't go you won't be able to find it because they'll just ban it because we're now living in this kind of dictatorship stroke not a dictatorship with china the only difference between us and china right now in terms of um, broadcasting out is china will just tell you outright you can't do that we're a sort of communist state we're telling you, you can't do it it's as simple as that where our guys say, no, of course you can do that. And then out the side of his mouth go, cut them off. Do you know what I mean? And that's what we're dealing with. Do you know what I mean? So that's just some of the things if you want to. Do you want to pick a subject, Dean? <laughs> Boy, that is a, that is a, a very brief uh, list, Ria. Do you think so? Very brief list. But there's a lot to talk about. Uh, that's why uh, That's why we encourage uh, people to get in touch with us uh, to join us on the show. And as I said, I'm only showing you a part of this studio that uh, there's plenty of monitors to bring other guests on by way of Skype into the studio. And there's room here in the studio to uh, have two to three other people uh, join me here. So Re and I are really encouraging for, you know, if you've got uh, a story to tell, an experience, uh, or want to be involved with our format of uh, the Doghouse Show, please get in touch with me, as I said, at dean at deanbleckman.com. 
Rhea, anything else? No, I think that's it. It was time time to get back on. Just say hello. We're still alive. Everybody knows you're alive and kicking, um, but we still we're still sort of in the middle of this thing. We're still looking to go forward. We've hit the sort of next level, and now we're looking to format up some interesting stuff for ourselves and other people to to jump on board with us. And with that format, just so you know where we are. If you're doing sort of ordinary. Dean will see you, and if you're doing weird and wonderful and out there, I'm in it. That's Abs- about it, Dean. Absolutely. And I'll say to everybody, don't forget the love and peace thing in this super toxic place that we're living in right now. You bet. But, uh, Rhea, I do have to say that everything that's happened here with this studio, thank you to you. And uh, today was basically just a catch-up show. Let people know that we're back, and uh, back with not just the audio that was happening last year but uh but now it's a real show and uh, a very sophisticated studio people will see uh has happened here in my home and uh, as i said uh, we're looking to have uh, some great shows formats uh encourage audience participation and uh don't be afraid don't be shy and don't be afraid of ria you know even though she's five hours ahead of us and she is kind of weird great lady and uh, knows a lot about a lot of things and is anxious to meet all of you. So uh, thanks again, Rhea. Hey, no problem, guys. You know, come on in, be a part of it. Let's have some fun. I'm particularly looking for some sarcasm, a bit of innuendo. Uh, definitely not PC. If you if you want to deal with me, don't be politically correct. I think it's killing us. Right. Uh, bit of sexism. You know, you name it, old school, um, I'm in. But I'm not interested in the modern, oh, I've got to say what I'm supposed to say kind of BS. I I don't want to do it. Uh, I can think of a million other things I'd sooner be doing. Back to you, Dean. Rhea, absolutely. But uh, once again, uh, what's incredible here, right here in this Talk at Home studio, is that anybody that uh, wants to get involved, there's an exciting opportunity. What's been built here is an opportunity to really expose uh, expose uh, people to the world right here. Yeah, some people don't want to be exposed, do they? I speak to some people that are, that are out there, you know, and I love it. Um, I saw, saw a thing. I've got to tell this story. It's a great story, right? I sort of caught up with these guys that are doing the UFO thing, right? And that they've got this thing together where they've bought these night vision uh, goggles or binoculars and telescopes, and they can see stuff going on in the skies that you can't see with ordinary telescopes and binoculars. And they've got this kind of club thing together where they've all bought these night vision goggles and they're all sort of meeting up on YouTube. Some of you'd think, God, you'd keep, you know, you possibly would only tell your best friend that because they're going to lock you up. And they're out there doing it and they're seeing stuff going on in the skies in this night vision uh, stuff going on the UFO scene. It's fabulous to listen to. I absolutely love it. And I've been looking at the price of night vision goggles because I want to see. I'm interested. And but they cost a load of money. So I've just got to rely on somebody else to tell me what's going on sort of thing. I love all that. I think it's great. Rhea, I think uh, I'm going to get you together with a great Dean on the street guest. I had a couple of weeks ago, uh, an actor uh, by the name of Greg Hoffman. And Greg Hoffman, I've got to get him together with you. We're going to do a great show between your UFOs. And he's been ghost hunting for about 30 years now here on Long Island. Brilliant. Uh, you guys would be great together. It would be a great show. Definitely got to get in touch with Greg. Totally, totally. I mean, UFOs is one of many. The thing that, that video's done for all of us, if you choose that um, medium to, to to spend your time with, is conversations that you would only hear, that you, w- you, well, you wouldn't hear them. I would never get an opportunity to meet somebody that's talking about funny men in the sky and UFOs or whatever. Do you know what I mean? I just, you wouldn't come across them. So I just love it. You know, I don't know what, what's going on, but I still love it because it's just not the norm in this PC world that I really don't like. Well, Rhea, thanks for being with us today. You're, you're hey, awesome. Guys. 
Hey, love and peace always. Tell people that you love them if you love them. And don't forget to spread the love. And don't give in to the toxicity. Okay, don't forget to follow us on uh, Facebook uh, as well as uh, the Dean Blackman Show channel uh, on YouTube. So uh, on that note, I want to thank uh, everybody for uh, being with us today and uh, from all of us at the Dean Blackman Show. Have a great day and a nice evening. Bye-bye now. You've been listening to The Dean Blackman Show, live from Long Island, New York. From all of us here, we'd like to thank you for tuning in. We look forward to hearing your comments via Facebook, Twitter, Skype, and email. And don't forget, you can visit the webpage anytime for the up-and-coming guest list. From all of us here, have a good evening.